the, the reason why, why I, Club of Rome is interested, or a number of people of the Club of Rome, to be more precise, uh, is that uh, uh, we have a, the reasoning turned around. Uh, so Club of Rome is more known for uh, limited of resources, sustainability issues, etc. That uh, so we, we're getting the way back and say that uh, education and learning is, is the key to, to any development. And uh, the, the only answer, let me be radical for the five minutes, the only answer to, to resolve poverty. Uh, and there is no chance that we will have here on this planet one day a sustainable societies or a sustainable world society as long as we have that, that, that size of, of poverty we have today and which is growing instead of diminishing. So that's the, the background. Uh, okay, I, I, I say not more than that. You can do 10 minutes. Formal education. I spoke about it. So what what we see, uh, and I come to the one one hundred dollars uh, laptop directly. There is, as we said yesterday, there is a a fantastic uh, uh, opportunity and decrease in in cost price. So I've participated to yeah okay, uh, participated at the two t world summits or the two summits in the summit in two parts. So to have any, any chance to, to, to bridge, to diminish the, the digital gap, the only chance that will be radical again if the prices are not going down dramatically. So it's happening, uh, as it is mentioned here, the first. So the, the, the uh, handy, uh, now the cell phone uh, uh, for $25 is there. Uh, so I saw that uh, in an advertising, 95 euro, 99 euro uh, in Europe. So $25 is that, it may, may be in a few years, $15. That's one thing. Came the, the idea, the proposal of, of Nicola Negroponte, $100 laptop. He is, this, this idea is, is great, essentially great uh, to my view due to uh, the, the, the all non-profit around it. It's open software, Linux-based, squeezed, uh, lean software, but it's also uh, manufactured or assembled in a non-profit environment. So there is no profit at all. The, I, I, I must say the chapeau for an American uh, uh, to go really across the, the the, the, the philosophy of society, I would say, I, it, a full admiration. Uh, so, uh, and coming into the uh, into the uh, electronic way. So, there are other initiatives in the manufacturing way. Uh, to give an example, here from France, Renault is building very cheap cars, uh, cars, seven thousand five hundred euro, seven thousand five hundred dollar, uh, in Romania. So there is a, a, a growing tendency, but it's still in the profit, so I like it less, but anyway. Um, so uh, laptop, in the meantime, uh, cheap laptops are being proposed by in China. <coughs> I think the name is Magellan, or Meng, Meng, so I have the name somewhere, maybe it's in the, there is uh, in China $300, yeah. In India, there are several initiatives going on about the same size of costs. So there is a, a whole process going on, and I, I presume these are the usual laptops, that the $100 laptop is a very precise device only for um, children for education in primary and secondary schools. So it is not a laptop in the sense as, as, as we use. It is reduced for one, 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 one objective for students, pupils, actually, I should say, even not students at higher education. Now, um, in, in our conference, in, in those you have all, if not yet, uh, DVD, uh, 
uh, what I'm telling is based on the conference we had at UNESCO here. And you will find the papers in, in the proceedings uh, as well that uh, in the low cost, as I said yesterday, at, at uh, dot 5, the point 0.5, the low cost uh, ground equipment for bi bi bidirectional should be there too on the triple play. And I show that here. I, that's the reason I, I wanted. There it is. This picture, you will find it also in the, in the proceedings. Um, this, the low cost has to, to be down or up from the, the, the end user, the laptop, any type, the, the ground equipment in case that is only satellite. So the perspective is, and for, for continents as, as Africa, Asia, no grids, neither electricity power, no grids for communication. So satellite is the, the only connectivity. And uh, what is uh, here proposed and is the setup box uh, here, here and there. This actually, this, this device here, yeah, to be correct. $200 IP triple play satellite terminal, which will allow 200, but not for one PC, but for a group of, of laptops uh, with a meshed, a meshed uh, What's network. The play? What is the triple? Telephone, television, and data. Okay. Yeah. So this adds, adds one functionality. It is not clear yet where the triple play can be installed very, for the first time. So telephone is very, very much known. So there can be re re redundancy, so that is not full coming to, to benefit. But anyway, so this was, this was proposed in Paris at UNESCO. At this stage today, it is available or are available as a pilot u unit. So we, we have produced there, or the company who produced it, which is a Belgian company, but it's not the only one. Uh, so that the, the, the chain up to the bandwidth question we discussed yesterday is getting into a low cost construction. Yeah, good. Uh, so this is really, really very important uh, to, to have that, that possibility. We hope we will be able to have some agreement to install it in Nigeria. That's a hope at this stage. But, you know, the thinking is, is at that stage. Uh, let me go back to the, so what I said, the 200, 300, Mainland is the Chinese name, uh, India, Mobilis, Asma Farto. So the slides will be on the website uh, if you want to. Um, so th this device here, will be manufactured by a Thai Taiwanese or assembled Taiwanese company. Quanta has been in, in, in the newspapers, so it's uh, knowledge available. You, you may see, I, I think I got a, a picture somewhere, no? Yes, you see the crunch there. So this device is a two or three watt device, one minute, a factor 10, 10 minutes, depending on what you do, 30 minutes of use. So there is no direct need for a grid, an electricity grid or a local grid. Um, uh, the screen is a small screen, is developed specially uh, or new technology that it can be seen in, in the sun. So when you, t today, uh, a laptop in the sun, you don't see anything. So it's a new technology. It is a, a, a very low power and slow uh, processor, an AMD processor, 500 megahertz. Why? For energy, energy use. And with, with a, a, a lean operating software on Linux based, you don't need the, the three gigahertz <laughs> for having the same result. So uh, there is uh, no mobile elements, no disk drive, 
no uh, floppy, etc. So th it is a robust thinking, a robust device based on an experience that uh, Nicola Negroponte tells that he had an experience done in a village in Cambodia. And he, he tells, he presented that so with laptops, and there is a picture probably also on the website, website OLPC, I come to that, uh, that uh, in, in a school in Cambodia, in the forest, the a street, a, a village, two villages where there were no streets, no water, came in with uh, laptops and got his first experience, so to say, with, with one or two classes. Yeah? So there, there is, and uh, so there is some, let me say, experience of, of, of a positive evolution for him, and as well as the construction of, of a, uh, a solid device uh, for, for children youth. So now um, uh, all, all, the, all the laptops are connected with each other with a, a new, new, I don't know if it's very new, a new uh, network uh, software, the meshed, a mesh network, uh, so that, that's, that the pupils can, will, can communicate. So it is also a communication device. And then some of them have then a, a link to the to the internet if there is a facility for it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, let me. He calls he calls this project an education project, not the laptop project. It's an education project. OLPC, one laptop per child, with the argumentation, one does not give one pencil for a, a classroom, eh? but. You need a pencil per, per, per pupil, so th that's one of his conditions. He said it's not negotiable. It's not one, one laptop for two or one for three. Now it's one for one. Well, so, okay, the consequences, uh, it, it, it's a revolution. Uh, it started in the most schools, also in Costa Rica uh, and other places in, in, in one device for several. So now we go with a $100 laptop one device per child, um, connected, as I said, and uh, I wanted to speak about some problems. Uh, I recognized that is what material on, on the laptops. Does it make sense to have the school books put on the laptops or should one change the whole process of, of learning? And uh, the opinion is one should change it, but it is not ready. And it will probably take uh, a, a several years, if, if not more, to, to get new concepts on learning processes in children anyway. Even for our classical schools, we, we need some new concepts, but there it, it, it will be obvious. And this is uh, a, a, major, a major challenge, w which is not directly his business, but okay. He refers, and uh, one of the colleagues at MIT is Simon Papert. Simon Papert uh, is a, um, uh, together with Piaget, Piaget in Switzerland, uh, innovating didactical ma material, and Simon Papert uh, is, uh, is an elder person, still at MIT, uh, who made in several places of the world, among uh, in, in Costa Rica is one in Thailand, experiences with new didactical tools and content, I suppose, uh, is the applied on, on, on PCs. Uh, and is the inventor of a, a computer language logo, or which symbol is the turtle? Yeah. So, okay, so he takes uh, Simon Papert uh, within the project, and so we will see uh, as, uh, what, what it what it will bring. Uh, this is a major a major challenge, I think. Uh, and we, we we want to do we the Club of Robots and some colleagues to. To bring people together and, and have done try to do something on that that field on that field. 
there was the, the training of the teachers. Uh, this is recognized. UNDP will play a role in there. There is an agreement, apparently. Uh, yeah, okay. Costa Rica. So here is the name of Samuel Papert mentioned. I can recommend you the publication Logo Philosophy and Implementation, which is available on the web, on the website. It's, it's a book of about 100 pages and an excellent chapter about, uh, about Costa Rica. Really, 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 by Clotilde Francesca. So, Fonseca, pardon. And then Maine, I, I spoke about Maine with one of our colleagues here. Uh, where another uh, very conclusive, apparently, uh, experience exists. Uh, yes, ODV, and then I, I'm about true. So uh, the one on the dollar laptop is one laptop per, per child, OLPC. And with our satellite contacts, we, we have copied the name with o, ODPV, one satellite dish per village. <laughs> so, uh, uh, then w w w where we are thinking inside the Club of Rome that if these laptops come in the schools, then uh, the whole village or the communities have to be involved. That's what we think. I hope we, we are right with our thinking. Uh, the, the, the local authorities, the, 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 the school directors and or equivalent, how it is called, but that the villages and the communities are involved. And so, uh, finally, so that extrapolation that the, the, the satellite, if, if there comes satellite communication, then it should not only be for that school, uh, but for the logistics around it, for courses and service, and so the intermediate uh, infrastructure. Uh, this, we are going to propose, uh, we have proposed it already to our Nigerian colleagues uh, and see what it will be. So I think this, this is about the essential, what I wanted to say. So uh, if I forgot something, please ask questions. <laughs> yes. What are the costs of a satellite uh, dish to a village, a, a, a system? Uh, I have well, I have made a, a, a rough calculation based on my previous experience of ICT manager. And I answer the question the following way. When the cost price of $100, then the final implementation will be by a factor two to three. Yeah, so it's very rough, but yeah. uh, Maybe it is even underestimated. And so I gave the, the, the information to our Nigerian colleagues. Say, please think about that. Yeah. But give us that more time to, to get more precise calculations. Yeah. And the time on the satellite, how much does that cost? Well, this is the problem, as I indicated yesterday. Uh, we are not under control. So it, it are generally for Africa, it governments and or the lobbies about go governments, as far as I know, yeah. Uh, we have now no, no control. Th this is a major problem, but please. But, but for this particular one, how much is it? What is the, 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 the 3D, uh, uh, no, the 3, uh, yeah, the triple. The triple play. Yeah. Well, what it the content? The supply system. How much is it? Uh, the, the the time. The time. The cost. Connection cost. Yes. I don't know. Oh, okay. it, it 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 can vary. The, the figures I have read in in the in publications compared to U.S. where they are the lowest. I I believe it can be even to Europe. Your uh, U.S. is is a factor five or ten cheaper, it can be up to a factor thousand. Yeah. yeah? yeah. So, you know, it, it, it is contra-evolution, contra-productive, uh, the high prices, but the, the game behind it is, is escapes us, <laughs> so to say. Yeah? Any, if any more, please. So, but you find in the, on the DVD, uh, 
uh, you have got uh, the Arctic is around. So Negapont is in uh, New Tech, the, the company we, we brought in. There is an article by SOS uh, Global, one of the major satellite providers. Uh, uh, and uh, who else? Uh, well, and one of, uh, of Lawrence on, on energy. Uh, so. Uh, I didn't manage to get to that energy publication, though. What? I didn't get to that energy Oh, you do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you will get it. <laughs> okay, take care. Thank you very much. <laughs>